Bernard Contrôle makes the electric motors that control the valves in nuclear and coal-fired power stations, cement factories and oil installations. Five years ago, the grandson of the founder of the company set up this branch in Beijing. One of the reasons why we set up in Beijing was to have access to qualified staff and managers with an excellent level of education. About 60 people work in this workshop. At 9 a.m., the boss and his managers go over the issues that have come up at the factory. This morning, there's a damaged electronic chip and a compressor that's overheating. The meeting is in English. What problem we can have for... All our international meetings are in English. Finding Chinese staff who speak French is pretty difficult. But this is not a simple case of offshoring employment. This Chinese factory has led to the creation of 15 jobs in France, mainly for project leaders and systems controllers. Going international with our production involves a level of coordination that creates jobs. Initially, in France, we had a factory where the jobs were set up hierarchically. When we built a second factory in China, we had to organize ourselves more along horizontal lines. In Beijing, the work is organized in an innovative way too. There are no assembly lines here. Each worker is responsible for his or her part of the process. What I like about this job is that I have learned technical skills and I work in a team with my colleagues. To finish the product that I make, I work with other people at the station. And then I insert a chip and put the whole thing in a box. This company is betting that Chinese industry, which has generally looked for the lowest price, is now looking for top quality instead. That means meticulous checks at every stage. The purchasing director himself, on a visit to China, explains to two supplier representatives his quality requirements. Bernard Contrôle's other challenge is to fight off counterfeiters. There are about 30 firms copying us. For an SME with a turnover of around 50 million, that's a lot. Foreign companies are especially vulnerable to counterfeiting in China when they have no local presence themselves. From the moment we got here, we could keep an eye on counterfeits of our products. We didn't have to rely just on our distributors. We had our own sales staff too. Bernard Contrôle has also built its reputation by the way it treats its staff. Each day, two company minibuses take employees past all the factories in the brand new industrial zone to a typical Chinese restaurant. A French intern, an engineering student from Lyon, joins them. It's true that you always have to make the first move, but the Chinese are quite open and they talk. The next morning in southeast Beijing, the suburbs awaken. Ten years ago, all this was farmland. The farmers and their children were all comfortably rehoused by the government. It's five past eight. Zhang Linying, a Bernard Control employee, catches a couple of minutes of a police TV show before leaving for work. It takes me a while to wake up in the mornings, but I'm only 10 minutes away from the factory. Bernard Control has also brought with it the company's HR management principles. The firm encouraged the creation of a trade union. A lot of its work is the sort of thing that a union social committee would do in France. Suzy Lu is the union spokeswoman. Next year, we are going to organize a summer outing for all our members and their families. We have a library where anyone can borrow books, and we run French lessons for anyone who wants to learn the language or about French culture. Are there ever any demands? Yes, yeah, sure. They often demand pay rises. That's normal. And sometimes they do get a pay rise. The company also pays health insurance for employees' children. But the most striking innovations are aimed at getting people to think. We want people to stay humans and to bring their added value to our enterprise so that we are in a continuous process of improvement.
To encourage employees to think for themselves, once every couple of months, the company grabs their attention with a cultural show. As soon as I came here, I saw that the workers seemed engaged. They do interesting work, and the atmosphere is good. In its own way, a French SME is doing its bit to change the workplace in a China that itself is changing all the time. Good one.